Hello guys and welcome to Denesi playing M Denesi. Uh, this is season one of modded Denesi Let's Play. Um, I'm gonna do a few series here and there where I make my own mod packs and kind of making them work together and um, just having fun playing around and getting to know the mods and the different kinds of uh, versions of Minecraft. Uh, although this series may not be, um, there's gonna be different seasons of course, but it might not be uh, Each season might not start very close to each other because of how the mods are updated. Uh, that's what it kind of depends on. Uh, so I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with a little bit of vanilla Minecraft before I start talking about what kind of mods we are playing with this season. Now there's not a, mo a whole lot of mods we have. I think it's about 60 mods, something in that area. And that is with the core mods and smaller tweaks and those kind of stuff as well. So, uh, cobblestone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna take that cobblestone, and I'm gonna take that cobblestone. Nice. Because then we can get a bit better pickaxe. There we go. Perfect. No, not you. I'm going to throw this one away. There we go. And I'm going to take this one with me. And we're going to go ahead and find a place to live while we start talking about what kind of mods there is. Now, there is a mod list as well down in the description below. But um, I also just want to talk about what I want to do with the mods that I have the ones I have a plan for, and what I wish to accomplish with the ones that I don't really have a plan for, like what I expect it to be able to do for me. Uh, is this all there is? Really? This is the third world I start and we're still on an island here? This is just... This is just kind of annoying. Uh, I've had a few different worlds, which all have been on an island surrounded by lots and lots and lots and lots of ocean. And I've been spending, I think, all in all, I think it's been about half an hour of boating around trying to find land. And I don't want to do that, that this world either, which is kind of why I started new worlds because I wanted uh, worlds where we uh, could just start building at spawn and um, this is not a good this is not a good you know, spot to begin uh, probably some mod that kind of wins the spawn point but you know what we're gonna live with it this time I'm gonna keep to this world and um, we're gonna survive. Okay, gotten some more wood. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna kill this sheep. Uh, the first. Oh, there's another sheep. Oh, there's enough sheep for us to kill to get a bed at least. So that's good. We're just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of cobblestone so we can make a couple more tools, like an axe and a sword. That's a sword. That's an axe. There we go. Gonna take this guy out. Gonna make these there, 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 and there. Because we're also gonna get some um, meat that we can process and uh, eat the sheep. There, there, and I thought there was a third one as well, right there, okay, good. And we've got, we've got a loot bag, nice. Uh, efficiency 3, yes please. Hopper cart, nah, 
Don't need it. Not yet, at least. So let's um, get a furnace and let's get some meat cooked up before we leave this island. Um, so we can start listing off the mod list together. We got on the top, we're taking this alphabetically, just left down in the, in the description, except for the mods that I've added after writing down the list, because uh, I don't want to write it uh, all in new. So we're, uh, I've just ri uh, written plus on it, on the list. So, let's start off with actually additions, right? That's a uh, that's a great mod that I well, that I wish I knew a bit better, but I do know that we can get a drill, and that's gonna be awesome to get our hands on after some time. Uh, then we have, let's see, chisel and bits is on my list here, but I think down in the description that there's another mod before I can't remember which one. Um, Let me actually take up the model list here. All the way up. Uh, better achievements. Okay, better achievements is before. Um, forgot to write that one down, I suppose. Uh, better achievements is just so we can easily get an uh, overview of what achievements we've gotten in what mod or in vanilla. Uh, where it kind of looks like uh, this in the vanilla, you know? And now we have these categories for what type of mods we have and uh, what type of achievements they have and that kind of sweet stuff. Um, then we're gonna just take down this tree and get a bit more wood here because that's gonna be needed. And then we have, I did say chisel and bits. Um, looking forward to playing a little bit around with that one. I played it with it a little bit beforehand, but I uh, didn't do anything cool with it. So I'm uh, kind of looking forward to really diving into that mod and getting lost in detailing. Uh, then we have, let's see, oh, food, oh, nice. Uh, then we have dense ores. Which also I think is going to be awesome to uh, experience. No, it's not going to be awesome to experiment with it. There's not a lot of stuff we can do with it. So I kind of I kind of misspoke there. I'm sorry, um, but it does add quite a few awesome things. That it does. Uh, like yeah, you can get a bit more iron or coal or whatnot. Then we have Ender IO. Which also is pretty awesome. Uh, gonna help us in a lot of ways. Uh, really looking forward to getting started with that one as well. Um, then we have extra utilities. And I wanted that because of a few utilities it does give out. Look at this. Little, little roofed forest. Oh, it's not little. Awesome. This is land. Some actual land. Ah, oh, yes. This is this is great. Uh, then we have. Oh, we skipped en Ender Storage actually. Yeah, we have Ender Storage as well. That's a awesome mod to have. To kind of. Um... Oh, transport your items to one from one location to another one so that's pretty great we're gonna I think we're gonna live here I think this is the spot or maybe down here a little bit and then we can kind of explore a little bit around uh, hopefully we will find some more type of trees Actually, I think this is a great location kind of taking down this little hill right here flattening that out and building right here I think would be great or maybe if we if we live right down there. I don't know, I kind of want a flat area, as flat as possible. Um, but if we live around here, or if we go down here, 
we will have the wood forest, easy access for wood, we will have the birch wood forest there, maybe we will have some kind of other biomes over here. Um, let's at least check it out, you know? It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Um, got some caves here, some water. Um, oh, oh, look at this, quarried stone, beautiful stone, right? Um, hmm, I think I want to keep looking down this way, and if we can't find anything, we're going to live in the wood forest here, but, um, would it be awesome to find another type of biome because of uh, domains where we are kind of living in the wood forest from beforehand? Um, that's the main reason I don't want to live in a wood forest because we're already doing it, I think. Yeah, we are. Uh, but look at this another biome spotting, jumping out of the grounds. That is Extreme Hills. Yeah. Uh, let's hope that there's some iron exposed here. Uh, maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but we're at least gonna take a little bit of this coal here. And um, hopefully we'll find some... There we go. Some iron as well, so we can get a bit more wool without actually killing the sheeps. And it seems like there's nothing. But we got a plane biome here though. That would be great to live in. Um, let's see. There's some... Oh, let's see, do we have any type of shears? I doubt it. No, we don't. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Come on. Calm down. Right, the mods. Um, I think we're actually gonna go ahead and build down here. Just FYI, this is gonna be our home location. Right down here. Somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Okay, uh, then we have FTB tweaks, lib, and utilities, which I write, I write down as one mod because they are all kind of dependent on each other, sort of. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is gonna be it. Here. This is pretty flat. We have um, easy access to some meat here, because uh, I don't like using the chickens for anything. Come on, steady. There we go. Thank you. And then we have, on the mod list, um, Immersive Engineering. And then we have Iron Backpacks, Iron uh, Chests, Journey Map. Uh, we have... Let's see, I'm um, just gonna... Excuse me. There, there. Then we have, um, there we go, uh, just enough items and just enough resources. Then we have Lumberjack, which is an awesome mod. Let's, uh, let's check out what it does, yeah? Um, it's a really easy mod. It's nothing special, it just adds this type of tool. And what this does is, it makes, this, makes it a lot easier for us to get our hands on wood and taking down trees. And that's what that mod does. Then we have more villages, which strangely, strangely we haven't found a single village yet. But um, as we progress and explore a bit, we're gonna find some, I'm, I'm, I'm positive. Uh, then we have uh, nether metals. Uh, quark. Uh, we have uh, 
bed in a second. Here we go. There. Then we have Quark, uh, RF tools, uh, rogue-like dungeons. Uh, then we have. Let's just make a little thing here first. There we go. Then we have. Um, then we have simple harvest which is really great to have um, which also reminds me we should probably get some crops up and go here um, we have also storage drawers which is a cool mod easier to store your stuff easier to access your specific things that you want. Um, so, so it's really great. Uh, then we have um, Thermal Dynamics Expansion and Foundation. And uh, if you've ever played with that mod before, it's a great way to get power to your machines and special kind of machines. Like doubling your ores is going to be great. And that kind of stuff. And then we have a Tinker's Construct with Tinker to Tinker's Tool leveling right behind it. Uh, also, that is probably one of my favorite mods. Um, Previously, when I've made um, mod packs for myself, I have left it out on purpose to not kind of get too clingy on it, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, the main stuff I was thinking in the beginning of was, was gonna be a really lightweight mod pack. Like, maybe a couple of mods just for convenience, like Tinker's Construct. Uh, and I was actually thinking about making it in 1.11.2, just to get Tinker Tinker's construct. But uh, I decided we decided and made it vanilla instead, without the occasional, uh, without uh, with the exception of the map, which I barely use, and with the exception of a few tweaks. Uh, and then we have Valkyrian Warframe. And uh, that is supposed to give us some sort of flying mechanism, flying um, vehicles so you can fly, you know? Um, oh, we are actually starving. Uh, then we have Wela and Wavla. Each one is actually named um, what am I looking at and what are we looking at respect respect uh, respectively uh, then we have on the on the plus list like mods I've added after um, uh, after writing the list we have refined storage we have loot bags uh, ranged pumps Sleeping Bag, and DecoCraft 2. And, uh... I really want this mod pack to be kind of a builder's mod pack with additional, um... Uh, technology mods, you can say. Uh, because of Endryo and uh, Thermal Dynamics and that kind of stuff. But mostly I wanted this mod pack to kind of focus on the building in Minecraft and expand it a little bit. Because uh, that is kind of what I love about Minecraft. It's the resource gathering and building with the resources you've gathered. So that's why I love to build stuff, but I love to build them in survival. It's a bit more challenging and 
a bit more rewarding. And I want to be able to build with a lot more stuff than what is in vanilla, so there's, therefore, <laughs> therefore, we have, for example, uh, deco craft and we have uh, chisel and bits. I've been meaning to add uh, chisel as well and um, flat colored blocks, but I just keep on forgetting to add them. Uh, I'm actually gonna write that down. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and install them right now. Okay, we are back. Our pickaxe has died, and uh, we are very soon out of time, actually. Uh, I wasn't aware. So I'm probably gonna make this um, crop thing in between episodes. Um, and next episode we will do a little bit more uh, diving into the mods that we are going to be playing with. We are first off going to dive into Tinker's Construct. Uh, so that's going to be awesome. I'm probably going to record that today as well. Uh, but first off I'm going to edit this video and cue it or schedule it. On YouTube. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get some more um, saplings here while we take a look at the extra mods we have now, which is, or we're not gonna take a look at it, we're just gonna mention them, because I did say that I was gonna go ahead and install a couple more mods, and I also installed a third one. So now we also have flat colored blocks, awesome. We also have Chisel, awesome, and we also have ch and Chance Cubes, which is also awesome. So we got a lot more we can play with, and we're gonna have a great time this season, I'm thinking, I'm hoping. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to hit that like yeah, button. If you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to subscribe, and... Um, don't forget to have a really awesome day. I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.